It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne. We'll guide you to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. It's time to pump you up. This is the No Pain, No Gain Financial Podcast. Welcome to No Pain, No Gain Financial Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and who happens to be my father, Bob Payne. This is the show for you if you're looking for some common sense and practical advice that you can use for your own planning and investing. Bob and I try to give you practical tips so that if you're planning now to be retired in the next couple of years, or even if you're retired right now each week, we give you common sense tips, practical advice that you can apply to make sure you're on your path to financial independence. All right, we got a great podcast for you today. Bob and I are going to discuss some of those silent, deadly financial killers that can unexpectedly derail your entire retirement. And we're going to take some questions from the mailbag, questions you emailed Bob and I directly. We're going to answer them right on the show to help you with your path to financial freedom. So a lot to cover. Let's get right to it. Bob, you know, it's often said that we spend more time planning our vacations than planning retirement. So we're going to trick our listeners this morning into planning their retirement by pretending like we're planning our next vacation. So here's a list of things we need to think about. And I think the first obvious one, Bob, is you know we need to figure out where we're going to go on that vacation or retirement and how we're actually going to get there. Yeah, Rod, you're absolutely right. I mean, uh, that's what retirement planning or that's what planning is all about is where are we going and how are we going to get there? I mean, it's no different. It's you have a destination in mind. Well, you know, my destination is to have a lifetime of income I can't outlive. So when you talk about retirement, you talk about vacation planning, it's identical. Yeah. Well, the irony is when we do our retirement planning, we never think about the end in mind, Bob. We end up saying, okay, I've got a 401k account over here. I've got a brokerage account, savings account. I've got all these different investments, but we never took the time to say, where are we going? It's kind of like just randomly you know, getting online and starting to plan booking your trip and booking the hotel and everywhere else, and you have no idea where that's going to take you. You don't know where the destination is first, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. So what you're saying, Rai, is people plan really in detail for their vacation. But when it comes to retirement planning, they use that strategy of, well, I hope I'm doing everything right. Is, is hope a strategy? <laughs> it's a terrible strategy, whether you're planning your vacation or your retirement. And that's why we came up with the A to B process, Bob, where you're going from point A to point B, we like to say with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And the key to that is point B is where you're going. And when you figure out where you're going, we like to say you want to reverse engineer back. Once you know where you're going, then you can actually build your plan around that. It's kind of like building a, a GPS, right, Ry? It's going to keep you on track to tell you you know, where you are now in terms of, of, of achieving your goals. So when you're planning your trip, you, you pick the place you're going to go, and then you work backwards to you know when you're leaving. Same thing with retirement planning. So what are some of the similarities, Rye, when it comes to planning your vacation and planning your retirement, like the goals? What kind of goals should you be planning for? Yeah. So I think one of the big ones, just like your vacation, is you got to figure out where you're going to stay, right? When it's a vacation, okay. it's, uh, you know, I gotta get, I'm going to do an Airbnb. Am I going to stay in a hotel? Am I going to stay on my friend's couch? Hopefully not. Uh, but the same thing, right? One of the biggest decisions you want to make when you're going to retire is, are you going to downsize, Bob, which you did actually recently in the last couple of years? That's a great point, right? You're gonna are you gonna have a five star retirement? Or are you gonna have a motel retirement? So <laughs> you know you can pick you know you can pick a really high end place to go on vacation, or you can you can pick a real low end. What can you afford? And that's where you got to work backwards, right, to see what makes sense, what fits your pocketbook. But what about what are things that happen that are unexpected, right? I mean, are do anything unexpected happen on someone's vacation? Oh yeah, I mean, let's whatever we budget for vacation, we always end up spending more. And your retirement is no different, Bob. The thing that drives me crazy is when you hear those statistics. Well, you're only going to spend eighty percent of what you spend now in retirement, and you and I know that's just not true. Wait a minute, Ryan. If that's if that's out there, would somebody please alert all of our clients that that's what they're supposed to be doing in retirement? Because all of our clients are spending more money in retirement than they ever spent while they were working. And that's why it's so important when you're running your projections, throw the kitchen sink at it, add in all those what we call ancillary expenses. And that can be everything from Bob, hey, maybe you're retired now, you are going to take some great vacations every year. That could be another five grand a year, 10 grand a year, but other things like healthcare costs, which are going to be one of our largest costs in retirement, you've got to factor that in. Well, you're going to have a lot of expenses, right? Like if you stay in the same home, 
you know, your air conditioner wears out, your heater works out, your roof wears out, you know, a hurricane comes through, next thing you know, you got to put new landscaping in. These are a lot of unexpected expenses. So, you know, when you're on vacation, don't you make adjustments, right? If you have a big night out and end up spending more, you don't spend as much the next night, right? Well, how do you do that in retirement? Well, that's why retirement's got to be a working document. You can't just plug in the numbers and then just hope that that plan works over the next 10, 15 years. You know, what we say is you want to plan regularly. And that's why you want to sit down and run these numbers with your financial advisor at least every 12 months to see where you are, what you've spent. Have you gone over budget, under budget? And that's also why we have our 360 portal, Bob, so we can kind of monitor expenses as we go along as well, which is really helpful. Yeah. So that keeps you up to date every day of your life if you care to look. Now, I know you're going on vacation, Rye. What kind of planning are you doing while you're going to be away? Well, the big thing is someone's got to cover me in the office. So, Bob, I expect you're going to work overtime. <laughs> no, but, but that's so kind why, of the point. Why should anything ever be different, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. No, and that's the key thing, right? It's like when you're away, let's face it, you're no better than the week before vacation. How organized are you, right? You clear off everything on your desk. You make sure that everyone has the appropriate paperwork and do what they need to do when you're gone. And that's the same thing with your planning, Bob. It, you might be the spouse that has the interest in the finances, but if you're gone, you could be leaving your spouse in the dark. That's the real question. You know, if you're in every relationship that I've ever worked with in 45 years, there's always been one very focused, interested spouse in the finances, and there's always been an uninterested spouse. And the question you got to ask yourself right now is what happens if I'm gone? You know, how's that uninterested spouse going to get up to speed? Am I organized? Am I as organized with my finances as Ryan is with his business the day before he goes away? Exactly. And this is kind of like that catalyst, Bob, that kick you know, in the rear that says, all right, I'm going to sit down with my planning now. I'm going to get everything together, tally it up, put it in one place. And that's why I do love our 360 portal because we actually have an online place where you can put all those important documents. You, know, you can have updates on all of your assets daily. But by doing that once... It just gets everything in sync. So God forbid you're not here and your spouse has to take care of things. Everything's already set up for them. You know, you're doing a great disservice to your spouse not to get these things organized. And it's just like that week before vacation where you just get everything in order. So Rye, going on vacation is no different than planning for retirement. It's all about having the details written down, updated, and also having someone who can take care of things if you're not here. If you're enjoying this podcast, if you're getting the knowledge that we believe you're getting out of it, we want to offer you a free consultation to make sure you have the best financial plan possible. We call it our Total Financial Master Plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic financial review where we look at the whole picture. All you need to do is bring in those statements, print them off the computer, put them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial 360 portal where you get a bird's eye view of your entire financial life and we can start looking at all the critical components. Everything from fees. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolio you don't know you're paying. And those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. We're going to look at diversification. Have you been feeling the swings in the stock market? In December, when it sold off aggressively, were you protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof and protect your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. How are you going to replace your income if you're going to retire soon or you're retired now? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase that income to fill in your income gap in retirement so you have income for life. And then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. That's the total financial master plan that we're offering to you. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. And tell us you hear the podcast and you want your own total financial master plan or visit our website bebullish.com or paincm.com and click the get started button to schedule a free conversation call or text 844-752-6692 that's 844-752-6692 or simply click the get started button on bebullish.com Ready for what Bob and Ryan have to say next? All right, everyone, gird your loins. Let's find out. 
It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you have the most common sense, practical advice you can use for your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our new guide, Five Ways to Maximize Your Retirement Accounts. We break down five simple ways that you can save money on taxes, everything from utilizing a health savings account to Roth conversions to a 401k. We give you five ways to put more money in your pocket, saving on taxes. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555 555- 888, five ways to maximize your retirement accounts. Money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. We show you five ways to save on taxes this year. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888 and download your free copy. So Bob, in the movies, whenever there's that assassin, they're always elusive and their target never sees them coming. So like the movies, our financial plan is always at risk of being disrupted by what we would call unforeseen variables. So I thought we could discuss some of these retirement assassins that can derail everything we're trying to do to get to our goals in retirement. And the first thing I think about is you can always have that unexpected stock market crash. You know, Rye, stock market crashes are simply volatility. Um, yes. They don't happen that often. They don't happen that often. But you know what? You know who created volatility? I think the, the volatility gods, Bob. They did, Ryan. And you know, the reason they did was to keep the uninformed poor. We spend <laughs> so much time worrying about something that's temporary, that's never been permanent, that we don't invest properly because we're not focused on what's really important, which is income. Yeah, and I would argue it's probably because your plan is not set up correctly. Because one thing we find is a lot of times you're taking way too much risk in the markets and you forget you're a lot closer to retirement now than maybe you were 10 years ago, Bob. And if your portfolio is dependent on the market going up, that's a really bad strategy as you get into what we call that financial red zone where you're getting close to retirement or you're in retirement now. Well, that's what I love about our planning, right? Because we were able to go out and back test, you know, what if? What if we do have another correction like we did in 2000 or 2008? You know, how does that impact your portfolio? And how did you react back then? And how should you be reacting now? And what steps can you take right now in the event there is a stock market crash? It's better to be prepared than to react emotionally. Yeah. And I think the big thing is, Bob, you have to ask yourself, is my portfolio, is it market driven or is it income driven? And the thing is, in retirement, as we know, it's much more reliable to know that you have income payments coming in as opposed to wondering what's going to happen in the stock market next. Like I would never want my retirement plan to be contingent upon, is this deal with China going to go through? That's the wrong strategy. Absolutely right. It's really about having a process, a discipline, you know, based on history, based on evidence, where you have the highest probability of success. I mean, it's not a competition. You know, it's about achieving your personal goals. Right. And I think the, the first start to do that is to figure out what are your income needs going to be and how do you build your portfolio? So it's more like a pension where you're getting regular income from that portfolio to meet those goals on a monthly and an annual basis. And that's the first thing you need to look at when you're building your portfolio. Is it going to cover my income needs, Bob? So true, right? So, you know, stock market assassins, eh, you know, it's something we can account for. But what are some of the other assassins out there we have to be aware of? You've got to plan for taxes ahead of time. If you're smart about it and you proactively do that, you can save money on taxes. But if you don't plan, you're going to end up paying a lot more in taxes than you have to. Yeah, it really is. It, it, it amazes me every time when we sit down with you that you have such an inefficient tax strategy in your portfolio. You're paying unnecessary taxes, capital gains taxes. You you're, you're have income that's taxable on a state and, and federal level. There's so many ways that you can avoid taxes legally, You know, still be a patriot, but you know, keep what's yours. Which is a great analysis to run. So not only figuring out, okay, how much income can I generate from my portfolio, but the other key to that, Bob, is can I make my income tax advantage? You know, using things like tax-free bonds and qualified dividend rates where the rates actually lower than you would pay on money that you get in a paycheck. So it's important to understand not only the cash flow that you receive in retirement, but how can you make it as tax efficient as possible? Because last time I looked, Bob, tax-free income is better than income I'm paying taxes on. You know, Ry, it doesn't it amazes me every time it's when we talked about this in the earlier segment. You know, just by cutting your taxes on an annual basis through the legal means available to you, you can have a five-star retirement versus a one-star. 
Yeah, and the one you have to really look at is if you have a lot of money in a retirement plan, we always call that your ticking tax time bomb because at 70 and a half, you have to start taking money out of your retirement plans. And when you do that, you have to pay income tax on that money, Bob. So you know, a lot of times if you retire before age 70, it may make sense to take some of that money out of those retirement plans early. Or you can convert that money into what we call a tax-free Roth IRA, which you might make your head spin, but there's a lot of things you can do with your retirement accounts. So it's not a ticking tax time bomb by the time you hit 70 and a half. And the things you do proactively about that can save a lot of money in taxes. You know, Rye, the biggest threat I see to everybody's financial plan, and the one thing that people never want to think about is the premature death of your spouse. Why is that a problem? Yes. We talked about this in the last segment, and it's so important to have your financial life organized. We can't stress it enough. And we have the the age of technology, Bob, where you can basically get all of your financial information and you can put it in one place with one password. Because nothing I hate more is trying to get into all my different accounts because I can't remember one password after another. It's just too freaking confusing, Bob. There's some simple mistakes that can be made you know, early in your retirement that can have devastating impact on your retirement, right? For example, we met with a client yesterday who had a pension benefit, you know, from the state and they chose to have the benefit just on their life. There's no espousal benefit. His spouse is 10 years younger than he is. Well, as a result of not having proper advice when he made that selection, they're going to have to sell their sure home to, to fund retirement, you know, once he's gone. Yeah, so it's so important just to tally up everything you have, um, figuring out where it is, figuring out how it all works together. And from there, Bob, you can really do some what we call that proactive planning. The other thing I would think about there too is like, when was the last time you had your will updated, right? I mean, most of us have probably been over a decade and you probably don't need to do dramatic things differently, but some tweaks to that will can be a big deal because right now, maybe you have uh, one of those brother-in-laws or sister-in-laws that you don't like anymore still is the trustee on your trust. You know, all these things need to be reviewed. Maybe your kids now are adults. They don't need guardianship anymore. So a lot of these things need to be updated over time as well, Bob. The things we talked about on today's show should illustrate for you just how important it is to have a clear financial plan. Our job is to make your plan robust and to help you navigate through the sometimes hard to understand financial landscape. That's why we created the Total Financial Master Plan for our podcast listeners. We know it would be helpful to you. So we're offering you an absolutely free consultation as a thank you for listening to the show. Here's what the total financial master plan entails. Now, this is a full holistic review where we're going to look at everything. It's the only review you'll ever need. You don't have to worry about what did I miss? What didn't I think about? You know, what are the things that uh, aren't in my plan? You know, all you need to do is gather all of your statements, stick them in a shopping bag, put them in a folder. You don't even have to open them. We'll review everything with you. We'll sit side by side. We'll help you to build that portal, which will allow you to not only review everything and see everything in real time, but you'll also have the ability to have it updated in real time, not just your net worth, but also your goals. And more importantly, how well you're progressing toward those goals. In addition, we're going to review your portfolio. We're going to look at the three key elements of a successful strategy. Are you truly diversified? Did your portfolio go down more than it should have in December because you're too overweighted in risk assets? Are you paying too much in fees? You know, I despise being overcharged. And there's nothing worse than finding out that your portfolio is currently overcharging you. Let's make sure we eliminate and identify all those hidden costs and fees in your current portfolio. And income, it's really the key to filling that retirement gap once you retire. You know, everybody has that income gap when that paycheck's no longer coming in the door. And if you're already retired, you know what your number one goal is right now? I want to stay retired. Income is the key. We want to be certain that you have a repeatable, dependable income stream in your portfolio that's tax efficient. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan that will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years? That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. That's the total financial master plan that we're offering to you. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. And tell us you hear the podcast 
and you want your own total financial master plan, or visit us on the web at bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com and click the Get Started button to schedule a free conversation. Call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692 or click the Get Started button on bebullish.com. Get a clear picture of your finances. I can't see nothing. Got to open my eye. Let's get back to the show. It's no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we're simple men, so obviously we like to keep it simple for you. You can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can subscribe to the show. You can get past episodes. Yes, Bob's hair is real, but check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com, and you can see that Bob is the real deal. And you can catch myself and other advisors from our firm on most of the major networks every week, everywhere from Fox Business News, CNBC, Yahoo Finance, just talking about our views on the economy, on the markets. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we answer it right here on the show. And to help us with questions this week, we have our producer, the man, Mark Haywood with Chick and Mark. How you doing? Gentlemen, a pleasure as always. And I don't know about you guys, but I like this new schedule for the golf majors. I like the PGA Championship being this time of year because now I can block off a weekend in April, a weekend in May, a weekend in June, and a weekend in July, all for golf. Hey, Mark, didn't you just get married recently? I don't think that works anymore. <laughs> well, it's worth a try, right? The PGA made right, me do well, it. Good luck with that, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I better move on before I get in trouble here. Well, we have a couple of good questions, as always, that have come into us. Let's take one from Jerry, who writes in from the Upper West Side. He says, Bob, I'm retiring soon, and I ask my financial advisor when I should think about starting my Social Security. He seemed completely befuddled that I'd even ask him the question and didn't seem to have any insight at all. What am I missing here? Shouldn't that be a basic part of retirement planning? Hey, Jerry, that's a great question, and I got a question for Ryan. Ryan, how is it possible that someone could be your financial advisor and doesn't think your Social Security benefit is important? Yeah, that's a red flag right there because Social Security is a huge component to that income stream that you're trying to generate in retirement. Like That's Retirement Planning 101, Bob. You know, it drives you crazy, Ryan, that there's so many people out there that work for insurance companies, for banks and wirehouses, and they simply proclaim, I'm a financial advisor, where all they really are are product salesmen. How do you differentiate between a salesman and, a, and a, a true financial planner? Well, I think first off, they should be asking you questions about your retirement. And if they're not, they're talking about financial products. That's a red flag. The other thing is we always talk about is you want to work with a fiduciary, somebody by law who has to act in your best interest. And let's be real, Bob, a lot of these people that work at the banks and brokerage houses don't have to be a fiduciary. And you really need to find that out. I mean, let's take Social Security, for example, right? It's such a critical element in every one of your retirement plans. You know, first of all, how many different ways can a married couple take Social Security? How many different claiming strategies are there? I think I've seen the statistic, and I think it's like 100 different ways you can actually take Social Security, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, and each one of those ways is unique, and each of you are unique. And that's why it's so critical that you have a unique strategy based on your goals, because Social Security is a passive income stream, and it's extraordinarily valuable. Just to get $25,000 a year, right? how much would you have to have in treasury bonds to generate that kind of income? Oh, man, you'd have to have, I'd say, a million dollars. Yeah, right. Million dollars yeah. to generate twenty five thousand. You know, what if you're getting fifty thousand? That's two million. Think about having two million dollars in your portfolio as the equivalent of what you're getting. And if someone doesn't care enough about you to even know what your social security benefit is or that it's important, what's that tell you about that advisor? It's time to look elsewhere, Jerry. Um, and another important thing just to say about that too, Bob, is like you said, it's it's so unique to you. You can't just take your neighbor's strategy or your brother-in-law is taking it this way so you think you can take it that way. Your situation's different. Your tax situation's different and all these things come into play. So you do need a unique strategy for yourself. Well, thanks for writing in, Jerry. Let's take another one from Frank and Spring Lake. Frank the Tank and Spring Lake. 
I digress. <laughs> uh, Frank says, Ryan, I'm already retired and I had planned on my wife working another three years, but we just found out that we're about to be grandparents for the first time. Congratulations, Frank. So she wants to retire this year to help take care of the baby. Uh oh, I see where this is going. How do I convince her that this is a bad idea? Well, be, be very careful, Frank. Yeah. Well, yeah, be very careful, Frank. And I think the first thing is, and this is an important thing, is have a financial plan run, but do it together as a couple. You don't want to, we talked about this earlier on the show, you don't want to keep your spouse in the dark, Bob, because that's just a bad way to do things. And, you know, if you have your spouse there, you run a plan together, you can see the benefits of maybe continuing to work as opposed to retiring and hanging out with the grandkids. Just saying. You know, right, that, that last two to three years that we call the financial red zone are so critical. You know, it may make sense to, you know, just postpone time with the grandchildren to, to work a little longer. Or you might find out, what the heck am I still working for? We, we're set for life. We, you know, there's no way we can outlive our money. But, you know, the important thing is to have that in writing. Why work by guessing or, you know, like throwing darts? You know, you really want to know what your strategy looks like. And that's why our A to B strategy has been so critical because once you have it in writing, you have that comfort level, and then you can go on living your life and not sitting there worrying about uh, you know your financial situation in the middle of the night. Yeah, there's nothing more unbiased than having that financial GPS, right? Because if you put a plan in place and you say, hey, this is the money we're going to need to live on. This is how we're going to do it. Let the plan tell you. Then it's unemotional. It's not based on you know, how you feel or things like that, but it's based on hard data because it says, hey, simply here, if you work two more years, look at the positive impact it has on your retirement or to your point, Bob, maybe you, don't, maybe you can stop working today, but let the plan tell you that as opposed to just going on a whim or trying to wing it. That's why a written plan is so critical, Rye, because life is about living. It's not about accumulating wealth. You know, Once you've worked hard to get to where you are, know what the benefits are so you can enjoy every day. You know, It's surprising that uh, so many people don't realize what they're entitled to and you know why guess you know why not know sit down with a professional get that projection done sleep well at night if you're looking to learn a little more about some of the things we talked about on this podcast but you're not quite ready for a one-on-one -on -one phone call no problem check out our most recent guide that helps you learn the ins and outs of financial and retirement planning it's free and you can download it right now by texting the word bullish that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's texting the word bullish to 555-888. You can download our latest guide, Five Ways to Maximize Your Retirement Accounts. Just give you some ideas on how you can save on taxes through health savings accounts, 401ks, Roth 401ks, Roth conversions. We give you some simple, common sense ways to use retirement accounts to save on taxes. Simply text the word bullish to 555 -888. 888. That's the word bullish to 555-888 or check out the show notes for the episode at bebullish.com for a link. Thanks for listening. We'll have another great show on tap next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the No Pain, No Gain financial podcast on Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere else you can get podcasts. If you're looking to listen to past episodes or to access resources mentioned on this show, Check out the full show notes of the program by clicking the link in the description of today's show or by visiting BeBullish.com. For Bob Payne, I'm Ryan Payne, and as always, Be Bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.